Fortnite just came out with a new Alien theme season 7 So today, I'm gonna give you guys the best settings for Fortnite season 7 for PC and console Because, hey, you may experience some little FPS drops So I'm also taking these settings from pro players and giving it to you guys Such as Taysen, Mongrel, you know, Janus, all these top tier EU pros And if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button Because my goal is to reach 50k in 2 weeks or so, alright? Watch to the end of the video, peace So the first thing I want you guys to do is go to your your little search bar in your windows search up local app data percent like just like that okay if this thing should pop up and then you want to go to fortnite game all right i haven't done this trick in a while but basically what it does is it clears the cache files in your fortnite folder or right? in your fortnite game you know you can clear the cache files like in any app or in your chrome yeah this is the same thing all you need to do is right click it rename and add a one to it what this does is gonna reset the cache files and all your graphic settings will be reset. So you have to fix it right afterwards, okay? And all you need to do is X out and launch up Fortnite once again. So what, what's gonna happen is just click decline because you don't want Fortnite to go freaking epic graphics or everything. All right, so then what's gonna happen is everything's being set. You're gonna see the battle pass trailer, you're gonna see all that blah, 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 blah. You're fine. Oh, damn, that's loud, okay, all right. Sounds like Avengers music. Da, da, na. And if you want to do this trick again, by deleting, by deleting this folder and renaming Fortnite Game 1, just repeat the process. So then all your things are reset, just fix your settings. And this is the part where I'm going to show you guys the best settings from I've gotten from Janus and Taysen and all these top tier EU pros. So first things first, what you guys want to do is you want to play on full screen. The reason why you want to play on full screen is because as it literally says, in full screen mode, you cannot interact with other windows as easily, but the game will run right slightly fast. And then after that, what you want to play is I would recommend to play on 1920 by 1080 like to be honest but if you can't play on the resolution just go back down just put it back down the reason why I want you to play on 1920 by 1080 is because you would make the game like, just look make more cleaner more crispier rather than 1600 by 900 because I mean it depends if your monitor is you know by 16 by 8 900 go for it the higher up the more FPS you lose and for your frame limit I would recommend put your frames or cap your frames at one higher than your monitor so if you have a 144 hertz monitor you cap at 160 and for those that have a 240 hertz just cap it at 360 if you have a 360 hertz just cap it at 360 okay and for the brightness so this really depends because people have different monitor settings from what i've seen so far everyone keeps it around like 999 i i personally like it to keep it at like like this i don't know it, it depends like it depends on your monitor settings and your tv settings if you play on console next up for the colorblind settings this is very tricky because we all see different colors a lot of pros use different type of like colorblind settings not everyone uses the same one so what i would recommend is just to turn it off and don't turn anything because i've seen janice and these eu pros they don't use any colorblind mode and Buga, he uses pro to know. So there's just so many colorblind settings out there. I would recommend just keep it at zero and turn colorblind mode off. I should get this to first. You have the rendering mode, okay? What I've seen, a lot of EU pros, a lot of most of the pros are using performance mode. And why do I keep saying pros, pros, pros? They're what pros for a reason. They know what's up. They know the game better than us, all right? So I'm gonna follow in their footsteps. I've seen Mr. Savage actually play on DirectX 11. So if you don't like performance mode, you can try DirectX 11. And I'm not sure I should put the, the little screenshot of Mr. Savage settings on the screen. Now that I'm on performance mode, here are the best settings that pro players or pro EU players use. All right, so for this, 3D resolution is at the highest because I want to be able to see from a far distance. All right, view distance, low, near. I, I would recommend near or medium. And for the textures, I would actually recommend putting it up high, but apparently all these EU pros don't. It's because the reason why you want to put it high is because according to actual PC tweakers and it's, it's Jarian, what they say is that if you put your textures high, you're actually forcing your e GPU to actually work Fortnite. All right, and for the meshes, I would recommend high meshes unless you want the mobile builds in my opinion i don't like that that, that don't look ugly bro like that for this v-sync highly recommend turn off literally look at this if you disable v-sync it can give higher frames and better input delay all right show fps i mean if you want to show fps and that's yeah and that's pretty much it also for you console players and pc players i would highly 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 recommend 
is to turn off record replays and delete anything in your replay folder. If you do have like replays in your thing, I would recommend just delete all of it. This should be like open folder and it will take you to your folder, like your actual Windows folder and just delete all the files in it. And those are your streaming or your old replays. For you, so you console players, a little FPS trick you can do is close all the applications are, that are running in your background. For your PC, PS5 players, your Xbox players, I believe you have like applications just like your phone. You know how you can like double tap the, the, the home button and you like all your applications, your apps are in the background. Yeah, get rid of those apps because there's things running in your background and that's that may cause you know actual input delay and fps drops and just for show and tell what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna unlimit my frames and there you guys you get you can get a thousand frames oh my i can get a highest thousand frames yo these settings are going okay oh my gosh it, it, it does not feel right yeah i'm getting like slightly tears because i'm my frames are not capped Dude, my monitor can't handle a thousand frames, you know what I'm saying? And yeah, that's pretty much it for the video, guys. If you guys actually enjoyed this video and want to see an FPS boost pack, let me know in the comment section below. If you have any questions, comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe if this video helped you. Please subscribe, it's free. And you gotta unsubscribe anytime. Peace.